Honoring our fallen heroes, thousands are gathering in Manhattan right now to pay respects to fallen officer Jason Rivera. The wake happening at this hour for the 22-year-old officer who was killed in a line of duty while responding to a domestic call last week. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon live at St. Patrick's Cathedral with more for us tonight. Kevin. Maurice and Christine, we have seen the sadness each and every day, and it has not gotten any easier for family and friends of Officer Jason Rivera. Here behind me, police have told us that about 1,800 people per hour have made their way inside for the wake as folks have come here to pay their final respects. The emotions here are hard to put into words. There's anger, frustration, pain. The only thing that's helped, knowing they're not alone. From the funeral home, an Inwood officer Jason Rivera's casket was surrounded by fellow officers. As it was led to St. Patrick's Cathedral, the somber procession, a reminder of the hurt. At the church, bagpipes played as the officer's body was brought in. Family members made their way inside. That alone wasn't easy. They were helped by the men and women in uniform who came out in numbers. Across the street, strangers watched. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Without them, where, where would we be? Where would we be? These young officers not even making a lot of money to risk their lives and their families, and they're so young, they didn't even, their children, their kids. Here along Fifth Avenue, where tourists often come, even they stopped to pay tribute. Pierre is an officer in the Netherlands. It tells me that the people are standing behind the police. One reason this senseless tragedy has touched so many, reflecting on just how young the officers were. I could be his grandmother. Lives cut too short. And uh, we need to do something about all the guns. And we've seen some political leaders make their way inside who have vowed to do a bit more on the gun violence issue. And we can tell you that the wake will continue tonight until 8 o'clock, open to the public with the funeral set for tomorrow. We're live outside St. Patrick's Cathedral. Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News. Some heartfelt sentiments there, Kevin. Thank you. You can watch tomorrow's funeral service for Officer Rivera at St. Patrick's Cathedral live on our streaming service, CBS News New York, or also on WLNY TV. TV 1055. Now, the funeral for Officer Wilbert Mora will also be held at St. Patrick's Cathedral on Wednesday, February 2nd at 10 a.m. For continuing coverage of the tributes to our fallen heroes, just visit our website, cbsnewyork.com.